I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Magdalena, I'm Polish. You're Polish and you are? Sean from New Zealand. And you said you met in Medjugorje? Yes. How For did that happen? Tell the story. <laughs> we met at St. James Church after um, yeah. the sign of the peace. Uh -huh. And I didn't know Magda was standing right next to me. We were outside because it was raining. We were by the confessionals and I shook her hand and saw this beautiful woman. <laughs> it I went from there. Me. Yeah, yeah. So we were both working here. Uh -huh. 2019. Did I introduce you? You are, what's your name? Sean. From New, New Zealand. Zealand. Did you yeah. say it? Sorry, retired. Maybe I don't Sean know. from New, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. And you were working here, Sean. What, what did you do as a worker in Medjugorje? Well, I was driving the van for Sister Muriel. So, oh. and sis, sister died not long after I left, and sadly. So, uh -huh. And the uh, St. Joseph, the worker uh -huh. uh, charity, was, was wound up after that. So, uh -huh. so we First time back here after being locked down. And, uh -huh. so, yeah. and what is your experience when you live long term in Medjugorje? Um, it's a peaceful place. It's it's uh, living a long time is a bit more difficult because you you miss your miss your, your food, <laughs> your food. <laughs> and food. Yeah. Watching a bit of rugby, and, uh -huh. but really there's nowhere like Medjugorje for uh -huh. prayer and peace. And, yeah. And and for you, you were long term here as well, or you came as a visit, and it was uh, pure God incidents that mm -hmm. you met at that church. Uh, I came, church. I came with groups from Poland yeah. uh, many times, mm -hmm. and four years ago I came for six months here. Mm -hmm. And for me, Medjugorje is so uh, special place, really so peaceful, uh, so peaceful, and I think this is uh, like I feel like in heaven here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that I got so many graces from God here. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> when, when you met, it's always curious to know. Yeah. Did, did you know? Did you knew that you would get married? No, really, I discerned and I thought about. I thought more about religious life, mm -hmm. honestly. And when I met Sean, uh, I wasn't really happy because uh, I want. I thought, oh, I came here to really pray. Mm -hmm. You know, and when I met Sean, I was little like, uh, you know, because I have my plan here, you know, in Medjugorje. And I think this is uh, very important to leave our plans because where we come to Medjugorje, we have, you know, our plan. We, we have our way to being here mm -hmm. and we have to open our uh, heart uh, for uh, God's plan here, for gospel plan here. And I think uh, it can be difficult for many people. And what was God's plan this is beautiful last time? This is beautiful well, because I make the same experience like the last week now that you have to, what she wants to teach us here yeah. is total surrender, yeah. total surrender to give everything to her. Yeah. My brain now, every desire which is not from you, please take it away. Every blockage which is in, inside of me, which is hindering the, the divine will and we take it mm -hmm. away, which I even don't see maybe. Yeah. Know, this, yeah. So, so it was a process, which is normal. I mean, you get to know, to know each yes, other. Yes, yes, yes. The process to go out and then talk yeah. and see, you know. But for me, it was like big gift, really, like big surprise that I met uh, Sean uh, mm -hmm. from New Zealand. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> man from New Zealand. <laughs> so beautiful the story. Uh -huh. and, she, and she prayed. <laughs> she prayed a year before that if she was meant to get married, to meet a man that loves Mary and loves Medjugorje, and, uh -huh. but not a Polish man. So Saint Joseph got her a man from the furthest place away from yeah. Poland. Yeah, <laughs> and I, yeah, and yeah. I think we uh, want to invite everyone who uh, maybe is a single. Maybe yeah. you can meet someone like me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, beautiful what you say. Come to Medjugorje. Yeah, come it's to Medjugorje. Yeah, vacation, exactly. No? Come to Medjugorje. Yeah, exactly. Check it out. Yeah. And um, you pray the rosary together? Oh, yes, of yeah. course. I Why think do you, it sounds very natural. Why do you do that? What, does, what do you gain from it? Um, well, we've, we've always been students of Medjugorje. Like, mm -hmm. I came here 27 years ago the first time, and mm -hmm. that's where I met Sister Muriel, started working here mm -hmm. then. So, gospel calls us to pray the rosary and go to mass it's a place of conversion here you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if you want to change your life for the better yeah <laughs> this if you is open that yeah. you need yeah. to open all like yes. this yeah. yeah and when we got back last week yeah you know the first thing i did in the morning i, I got got up and went up pop the dough and I, I by the time i got back and had my mm. breakfast i'd uh -huh. prayed joyful and sorrowful mysteries and i, I said to Magda, i said 
it's so easy to pray here. Mm -hmm. I said you feel peace yeah. here. You're not distracted by worldly things. Mm -hmm. By rugby. Yeah, yeah. By rugby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I will still watch that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's from the heart. Yeah. It's not, you know. yeah. And I go to a, a deep conversion to Medjugorje Why? too. What, what happened to you? Oh, it was ma many, many years ago when I was, uh, I think, 19. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother got me uh, books about mm -hmm. Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I read one message mm -hmm. uh, from Our Lady and I got love, I got peace, you know, and and I cried uh, probably two or three hours wow. and I really felt uh, that God is and God uh, and Jesus loves me. Mm -hmm. It was so beautiful experience for me and my uh, way uh, started. Beautiful. Mm. And for you, why did you come, Sean, why did you come 27 years ago to this place at the end of the world for you? My mother conveniently left a book for me written by Janice Connell. I think she was an American lady about magic oil. Uh -huh. When I read it, I just, I thought, this is real. Uh -huh. And I wanted to come, and I tried to come the year before when the war was on in 1995, but uh -huh. it got difficult, so and then at the end of the 95, I quit my job. Uh -huh. And I just knew, I just knew I was coming here and then I'd, I'd hoped that I could, because it was middle of winter, mm -hmm. I thought I'd hoped I could come for one or two weeks, not yeah. too difficult. And the yeah. first night I was here, I, I got locked in the shower. I couldn't get out of the shower for three hours. I was sitting on a toilet seat, yeah. steaming up the room to keep warm and cursing, what am I doing here? And who, who got me out? Who, the first person that came? Mm -hmm. up on the second floor with Sister Muriel and she looked mm -hmm. at me and said how long are you staying? I said I've quit my job. She said my worker left today. Will you work for me? So that was Providence. That's gone yeah. Providence. Instead of one or two weeks I stayed you know, a lot of that year. So, right. yeah. But you didn't meet her in that time? You met her no. afterwards? No. Yeah. How After did that happen? At the, at the Mass. At Mass. Um, during Mass. Yeah. Uh, because I sat near Sean. Uh, I sat next to Sean. <laughs> I didn't know she was Yes, yes, Sean. I didn't know she was there until <laughs> I shook her hand at a sign of peace and I thought, boy, she's a nice looking young woman. <laughs> so for you, how was it for you to see her? You said, well, interesting. Hmm. That could be the one? Or? Well, I, you know, you never know, but then it just developed from there, really. Mm -hmm. and but did you, you had a first impression, kind of, when you oh, said, after, no, not just after, a random person? Said, after no. a week or two here together, I, I told her, what did I say? You told her already? Yeah, no, no, yeah. I, I no she told that I, I, may, I, I think about... Uh, Marrying? Ma married with you. Yeah. I, I, I was surprised because I said, oh, it's so fast, really. And, I and what really, did you think? And, and my, my, my English wasn't good, you know. I'm still sorry if I, I, no, I can good. make some mistakes, you know, yeah. because I'm, I'm, I'm yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. Uh -huh. And we really couldn't talk, you know. We use uh, translation, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. you know. And sometimes, of course, we had uh, difficult, uh, you know, moments because my English, uh, I, I understood wrong, uh -huh. Sean. Uh -huh. But uh, I felt that, uh, that 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 Sean is uh, is special for me, you know, because I I, I wanted to be with uh, someone who. Uh, has strong faith, who loves Mary, who uh, loves Rosary, who loves adoration, Mass. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there's no much. I see it in other couples if the faith, if you don't have so much tension in this faith. Thing yeah. And, and this is why we like uh, praying Rosary, you know, together. Yeah. I think it's very important. Why? If, if you are married, uh, if I feel union with mm -hmm. Sean. Yes? Yeah. Uh, we pray, of course. Like, uh, uh, we have uh, individual, you know, prayers. But mm -hmm. I feel uh, in union when uh, I'm praying with Sean, with my husband, and we are going uh, together to adoration, mm -hmm. to mass. We pray rosary and, and our beloved chaplet of divine mercy too. Is this? Are you living now in New Zealand? Or yes. We, yeah. got, we got married 18 months ago. 18 um, months ago in New Zealand. Yeah, Mag Magdalena came uh -huh. for three months in the start of 2020 because I went home at the end of 
2019 and Magda went back to Poland. We kept in contact. So she came on a three-month visitor visa and mm -hmm. just when COVID struck, so she got locked down in New Zealand. It's divine providence. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. was I think providence. it was. So the government kept extending her visa mm -hmm. and then we applied for a work visa and now she's got residence and so we got married 18 months ago. Yes. And, yeah, so. and Beautiful marriage. Yes, yes. Yeah. and of course we, we, we wanted to give thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes, for for our marriage, for our That's why wedding. You came back now? Yes. Say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, Gospel, for my husband, lovely husband, Very good husband. Lovely, <laughs> lovely young yeah. one. Beautiful, yes. 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 amazing. And so you do the whole thing, confession. Yes, yeah. everything. Yes. What, what would you tell people like who are scared to go to confession? You do it naturally now. Mm -hmm. For for us naturally, you know why? Because uh, I know that I meet Jesus. I meet Jesus and uh, confession uh, gives me healing too, peace, uh, freedom. Freed yeah, like freedom, exactly. You know, I know that uh, you can be afraid, mm -hmm. but uh, um, um, let, me, let me just say that yeah, when I sure. first came here, mm -hmm. Father Philip Pavich, and he died a year or two ago, mm -hmm. I was there's no hardly any English speaking, so I was in confession him, for him for two hours. Was it know. kind of a life confession you didn't uh, go for? Yeah, that just time sort or? of, yeah, like, yeah, a lot of baggage. But So if you're scared, I went back to him a couple of days later because I probably had a bit of scruples and said to him, Oh, remember what I told you a couple of days ago about this? And he said, No. He said, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. So if you're scared of going because you think the priest mm. sits there and yeah. remembers and counts everything, yeah, no, don't, he's an instrument. Don't, yeah, they yeah, don't. don't. Yeah. He's an instrument of God, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and you, 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 yeah. So and I think we, we have to leave our thinking, you know, like leave uh, our fear and trust, uh, trust in God, trust in Jesus, because you will get really a uh, big gift there. You will get, you will, you will really uh, get big freedom from Jesus That's and forgiveness. Just yeah, to you, I said, exactly. I and big, yeah, exactly. That's Go. what the devil said to Adam. Yeah. You think you are God. Yeah. We don't have to think. We ask in petition yes. and we say thank you already for what. You yes, know. exactly. Amazing. Mm. And you also made the experience because a lot of people think, really th think, mm. God the Father is an angry old man with a white beard and he judges. Mm -hmm. No, I'm an angry old man with a white beard. <laughs> but I thought that no, God's not, not angry. I, I, I think it's false. It's it's false. Uh, it's false. Too, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's false image, you yeah. know. And here we can get uh, experience uh, love. We can image. really, a real image that Jesus is mercy mm -hmm. and Jesus is love and Gospa uh, uh, loves us too. And we can get here uh, that experience, but we have to open our heart. Mm, unbelievable. So true. Yeah. And at the end, you have a favorite spot here in Medjugorje where you go? Of We've just come from there. <laughs> from, from the Blue Cross, the apparition here? Uh, Podro. <laughs> Podro, I Podro yeah, yeah. Yes, I love Podro. Uh, and, and, and Blue Cross. Yeah, we, yes. I, we I, were. Like, I like the Oasis of Peace Chapel. Yes, Me too. and oh, we were so there beautiful. too, yes. My first year or two here, I spent so much time there. It was mm -hmm. so healing and so beautiful for me. So now they've got the mm, Blessed Sacrament back there, so uh -huh. that's what yeah. I like, yeah. And at the end, what would you tell people why to come to Medjugorje? Come, to come and check. Come and check. Uh, don't be afraid. If you don't have money, uh, you can pray to Saint Joseph. <laughs> and I did so many interviews. It's not about money. Yeah. You should be here. Yes, when you come here. exactly. And I think really, don't be afraid. Open your heart and come. And you will, if you have uh, confusion, leave. Come and see. Mm. And you will have your experience. Mm. And if I may ask curiosity, a lot of people say after you get married, the, the relationship somehow changes. Is it so? Or you, I how was the feeling? How was it when you received the sacrament? Actually, mm -hmm. you give your. I, I didn't know that. Yes. The, the priest only witnesses. You give yeah. the sacrament to each yeah. other. No? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. You marry each other. The priest is the 
the, the witness kind. Yes, yes. he's the witness. He's the, uh, yeah. but How was that actually? Uh, you lockdown. Know, <laughs> we only had yeah, during people. our lockdown. Second. We only had 25 people because it was lockdown. Oh, and lockdown. And we got married by our friend who's a bishop. So the, wow. he was bishop and we had 25 people and uh -huh. one bishop and three priests. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but I yeah, yeah, but I think that we invited uh, Jesus to our relationship, and uh -huh. He's uh, yeah, He's center and He's uh, refuge. He's our is He's like rock, you know. Beautiful, mm. it's amazing. Wow. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just Photoshop me, okay? <laughs> so yeah, just Photoshop. Yeah, you make the beard more 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 wider. Take the wrinkles off. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now we see them really how beautiful they are. Bye bye. Bye <laughs> okay. bye. See you. Thank you.